Good morning. This is Dinesh from Knowledge Institute of Technology, Salem, Tamil Nadu. Today I am going to present a topic on energy meter. Here I am going to explain about the electromagnetic induction type single phase energy meter, construction and working torque equation as well as error adjustments of the same type of energy meter. Also a block diagram of the digital energy meter or we can say electronic single phase energy meter and I will complete my session with a three phase energy meter. First of all we will see that what is meant by energy meter. Energy meter is a device it is going to measure the power and with respect to the time. So that is it will give you a total amount of consumption for the particular period. For example, it may be for a month or it may be for a year or it may be for a day. In particular day, how many units it has consumed? We have consumed or in a particular week or in a particular month, how much units we have consumed? It is every everywhere available in the home. Nowadays, we are having both analog as well as digital meters. So here we are seeing the construction of the electro magnetic induction type single phase energy meter. Here as we are seeing there are three types of magnets are provided. So what are all those magnets? We will see here the construction part. So the first and very important part is the driving mechanisms. How the particular disc is going to rotate. So it is based upon the this driving mechanism magnets. It is having a two electron magnets. One is a series connected magnet and another one is the sun connected magnet. Here you can see that the series connected magnet is nothing but a current coil and the sun connected magnet is nothing but a pressure coil. So this is the red line and this one is the blue line that is nothing but current coil and the red line is nothing but a pressure coil. It is made up of silicon steel laminations which from a rigid mechanism structure. On series magnet U-shaped current coil is mounted and a fluorescent M type electromagnet is mounted. It is the magnetic uh, here pressure coil is highly inductive in nature. Copper sun bands are provided on sun magnet so that phase displacement of 90 degree between flux set up in by sun and the series magnet. We can provide a copper sliding band the main of which is what? We have to create the phase difference. Current coil is connected in series with the load. And again a moving system here moving system again shown in the green and it's nothing but the, how the disc is going to rotate. So here the rotating aluminum disc is mounted in the spindle. Bottom of spindle is pivoted in the bearing screw. See here pivoted screw. Top of the spindle is connected to the recording mechanisms which will give the gear lines. So we can easily see the analog meters. The reaction between the flux produced by eddy currents due to sun and the series magnet. The sun and the series magnets reactions will make the disc to rotate. To overcome the friction loss, light load adjustment is provided on the spindle. We have provided here this one, light load arrangements for reducing the friction losses. So next we will discuss about the braking system. Here braking system is provided by the C type magnet, C shaped magnet. Here braking magnet is so placed that the disc revolves in the air gap. So this is nothing but the air gap between the C type magnet. Mm, this magnet field induces AT current in the disc which reacts with the main magnetic field and creates braking effect. By changing the position, see here, by keeping the magnet inside or keeping the magnet outside, we can control the braking effect. The braking disc can be adjusted. Registering mechanism is nothing but uh, it will provide the how much units it's have it's uh, consumed in a particular year or a particular month. Here see that uh, the different dials are provided. The second dial is from the right from the 10 kilowatt hour 
then third is the 100 kilowatt hour this is the 100 kilowatt hour and the fourth is the 1000 kilowatt hour consumption sometimes 1 by 100 and 1 by 10 kilowatt hour also we are providing for the accurate result the train gears driven by pinions or one gear so next we will discuss about the operations so here how the flux in the sand and series magnet going to provide a products a product of this effect and you will discuss going to rotate together because everyone knows the power formula is v a cos phi so here we can see that the flux produced by pressure coil phi sh is the flux in the pressure coil and uh, phi se is nothing but the flux in the current coil this one okay and the flux phi s induces emf esh in the aluminium disc the same disc due to this flux there will be a uh, emf induced here and same way due to the flux in the series there is a induced emf in the disc so the disc is short circuited so there will be a two eddy currents because of the sand and the series flux so one flux here see that flux direction in between the series coil the one flux is going upward and the second flux is going in the downwards in the series magnet the interaction between phi sh and ies produce the torque t1 and the interaction between the phi se and ieh produce the torque t2 so this way the resultant torque will give the rotation in the disc so these are all the further ex detailed explanation of the energy meter operation finally the net developed torque can be getting from this formula k3 into vi cos phi it's the ac power formula the breaking torque developed on the disc is proportional to its speed so if the speed is increasing the torque the breaking effect also will get increases tb equal to k4 into n and n is nothing but the speed of the disc the meter constant k can be calculated as k equal to total number of revolutions upon energy in the kilowatt hour there are different errors in the energy meter one is the speed error sometimes your energy meter analog especially in analog energy meter people are complaining your mag uh, disc is rotating more faster so the bill may be higher or sometimes disc won't rotate accurately so that bill may go lesser so these are the main cause because of the brake magnets this can be reduced by arranging the or adjusting the brake magnets then we have some of other other errors meter phase errors are there then uh, friction errors so amount of weight how much we are going to add in this based upon that we can have then creep a creep is the another type of error and due to the varies in the temperature that time also we have the error so these are all the and there's some more light load and friction adjustments these are all some other types of uh, errors so creep can be avoided by providing the hole on the uh, disc so these are all the main uh, constructions and uh, working and errors in the energy meter and this is the type of uh, energy meter as for used in the three phase so here we have a three arrangements of a single phase energy meter will make a three phase energy meter and this the circuit shows the three phase